for you. What the hell are you? Hey, what's going on, Destiny Knights? Nimmy is the gamer. Hey, what's going on, Destiny Knights? Nimmy is the gamer. Welcome back to another D6 video. So today we're gonna be talking about is what it was sort of it's related to last videos, okay? So let's talk about the teams that you can put this guy in. Actually, you saw this guy. He. <laughs> you can already tell. I I I I I love using this dude practically everywhere, and I I sort of explained that in that video. But this is more in depth of what teams you can use them in. Uh, so we'll go uh, over everything and anything you can use them in. So let's start off with scenario. Uh, scenario is actually pretty easy. Uh, it depends it depends on where I feel like the one place I cannot figure out is Traegar but y'all don't even have Traegar for uh, global just yet so we'll just uh, skip Traegar for now because it's Isaac and he actually does have a damage reflective shield so it kind of gets a little tricky tricky there so uh, but we'll talk about the hardest one in I feel like everybody's opinion which will be this one okay so let's talk about this team okay so um, let's let's do which one was it i think it's this one okay so let's go ahead and uh change change these out okay all right so let's start off okay so somebody actually sorry i keep jumping uh places to places uh somebody actually asked me how to do tower of promises level 75 and i'm going to go ahead and do it in a little bit when I talk about the team that I'm going to use on this one okay so hold on on that we'll go ahead and talk about that uh, but let's talk about this for now okay so when it comes to this I think somebody asked me in the last video as well if Paper Fran is still good just because Rock June came into the game yes she is still good he has a high risk factor just because of the fact he's more of a speed runner she has a safe safety net so let's say uh, let's say paper friend right so let's actually use her and let's actually put you here this is the team I actually used to run because they both have double ignore defense nukes and they're both different elements and all three of them are different elements so two different nuke elements three all three of them are different elements and then on top of that uh, they have enough heal sustain and on top of that they're able to actually um, take a lot of hits because she has the uh, damage taken buff uh, l The less damage taken buff, so it's pretty good uh, if you want to max this you can go ahead I, I I haven't maxed it yet just because I don't use her as much does not mean that she is not good I'm just trying to speed run a lot more things now for the striker I feel like you can use anything if you want it to be safe and sound you can use this guy it decreases the uh, Oops, sorry. No, not you now you now you now you where are you at not you um You your nuke. You can use her, and if you don't want to use him, the same thing you can use for Paper Eve. I feel like I use Paper Eve much better because she actually provides something better than your nuke. So your nuke just has the leader skill. She has similar leader skill, not as good, but she does have a heal and a cleanse. So it it uh, it makes it that much better. And then on top of that, you do get a heal from just using her. So. Let's go ahead and uh, just use this one. Yeah, I mean, you can use her as lead just so you won't be taking as much damage. It, it uh, It's the same thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, now, this team is going to take a long time just because of the fact it's not a speed run, run team. It's going to take like maybe two minutes according to the time that's up there. Let's actually put our skills up. There we go. She actually used the damage taken uh, a buff there so we won't take as much damage. Another thing. If you do not know, Scissor Elk does have a derpy AI, okay? Uh, hopefully that they fixed it. I haven't used her in Scenario in so long just because of the fact that she does, she, she is pretty derpy. But uh, just keep in mind for that, okay? So if you're keeping an eye on that, you can actually tell that you're actually taking only one damage. Now this does not apply in Arena. In Arena it's sort of nerfed but you don't take a lot, like a lot, a lot of damage. So let's see what happens here, okay? So she's doing the heal so we cleanse anyways. Oh, what the heck? She's actually doing it. Okay, I guess let me rephrase. Because the thing is, is that she doesn't he, she doesn't normally do this. 
She doesn't normally she doesn't normally use her skills. I think it's more of the when, when it really matters, because sometimes you'll be dying, and she won't use any of her skills, which is kind of stupid. But she's doing a lot better here. You can see that. Okay, so you can see even like if if I didn't if I didn't leave it, it's lagging now. But uh, if I didn't if 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 we didn't have that buff that friend paper friend uh, gave us. We would have suffered a lot of damage because that's what makes this this boss really hard. Now I don't know if I don't like I'm still trying to figure out what global release has. I don't think I think y'all have up to Medina, correct? I believe. So let's go ahead and and, and Medina is the hardest one. Once you finish that, the other ones are pretty fairly easy. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's go ahead and go to let's go ahead and go to Silvas. Let's try using a different team, okay? So now we can actually use her lead skill just because of the fact that she's equal for the uh, advantage. Uh, let's go ahead and actually use. Let's see, who can we use? Who can we use? We can actually use this guy because why not? We can actually even use him as lead. So let's try and do that. Let's let's try. To use... This is a bit more of a riskier team, just because of the fact that Fran actually provided that safety net so let's go ahead and see no 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 i actually don't want to do it let's go ahead and see uh how how this fares just because like i said the fact that paper friend kind of gave us that safety net but let's see how this fares. the thing is that i've tried a lot of teams to try to auto a lot I, I think i did a video uh, no i think i did do a video on a team that does all and the, the, I, it was actually really difficult to find it and i actually found one now and it's 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 y'all probably already saw it but it's fairly. I, I'm 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 going to actually show it once the end of the video because I don't want to show the beginning of the video and be like, oh well, you can nuke. I need to find out better teams, easier teams, uh, teams that are more reliable. So, and on top of that, I'm trying to actually just um, I'm trying to make it a bit more. What is it called? I can't think. Uh, global release friendly. Because y'all do not have a lot of the units we have. Like, we got the the paper... What's his name? I don't even know his name. Uh, the, the one that just came out. Uh, y'all don't have him yet. Y'all don't have Dina. Y'all don't have even Natasha yet. Which is why, if you're waiting for a Guild Conquest video, I'm not making the Guild Conquest video because I use a unit that y'all do not have. So, and, and the two teams that I do use, they're, they're uh, consistent of those... I think it's two of them. Two heroes on that team do are not in uh, global just yet, so it makes it a little bit harder. So yeah, all right, we're gonna be bouncing back and forth because I feel like, to be honest, Silvas and Medina are difficult in two different ways. Medina does have a big nuke, which kind of makes it a bit more difficult. Silvas has these little minions that actually make it a bit more difficult because it distracts your heroes from and instead of attacking the boss you attack the little minions and it distracts them and then it causes him to go rampage and start uh, uh, start uh, wrecking everything okay so uh, let's talk about this let's, let's actually talk about now let's try to do Adonis this team this team was actually done a while back I think it wasn't with uh, Benito we can try Benito. Benito, just for the fact, I mean, uh, Adonis was actually the the safety factor back in the day, just because of the fact that he gave that invincibility shield. But now you don't use him as much because he actually was one of the derpy ones as well. He was derpy. Elk is derpy. 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 Basically, the ones that are derpy are the ones that are really overpowered, especially in scenario, which makes sense. You don't want to have him overpowered everywhere, right? But yeah, but it seems it's I feel, personally I feel like they they buffed their their AIs. I don't know. It seems like they're doing a lot better. Either that or it's because the speed, the 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 times since they added the times three speed, they, it seems like their AI is better. But it's just that the it takes a shorter amount of time for them to use their skills. I guess I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and see what happens here. So he, there you go. He puts this thing up, so we're not gonna take as much damage. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Damage taken, uh, debuff on there. Are we going to get hit with it? Yeah, we did get hit with it. Are we going to die? Let's see how risky. Oh, nope, it didn't get risky enough. Okay, good, good. That's good. 
Can June use his nuke skill? There we go. We finished it. Very nice. Sorry, it may blow up your ears. Um, but as you can see, it was unreliable. It became very unreliable. Like, really, really close to being unreliable. Alright, so now let's talk about the Cancer's team I mentioned last video. Uh, last video, if I don't know, obviously Global Release should know this team because it's it's a team that's been around for so long. So let's go ahead and use that team here. And I actually used it in all the other stages because of the fact that it makes it safe. Okay. When, when I made the Tower of Promises video, I told y'all um, you need to take this fairly seriously. Just because of the fact that you're limited on keys, so it kind of makes it a bit more uh, cautious. You have to be more cautious. So this is why this is the best team, especially for the higher ups. I know in Global, y'all do, don't do have this yet, but somebody in the comment section actually asked me to do a video on this. So I'm going to um, do it here. Let's go ahead and do it. Reason being, reason why this team is so reliable is because you can cycle around the shield and they cannot strip it, they cannot do anything. So it makes it that much better. Watch me lose. Oh my gosh, Orb Inventory. Come on, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's sell some. Uh, bulk sell, select. When did I even? Okay, let's go ahead and just do that. Okay. All right, oops, that was, that did not mean to go there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get ready here. But that, that's what makes it crazy overpowered. This team itself makes it it's overpowered just because of the fact that you can actually, okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. Boom. Uh, and on top of that, it gives you a, what's it called? It gives you a, what's it called? What was I gonna say? Nope, let's leave it, let's leave it alone. Uh, boom. It gives you a heal as well. That's what makes this team so freaking awesome. Okay, so let's, eh, we don't need the heal. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, there's something else over here. All right, let's do this. Boom. Oh, you're the one that's healing them. Okay, that's cool. Y'all ain't gonna do nothing. Like, that, that's the thing about this team. The only damage we're taking is from Rock June's skill, the nuke skill. That's what's that's what's really killing us. Really the only thing. So let's go ahead and go after this guy just to boom. Nope, you're not doing that, boy. Let's do this. Alright, let's do boom. Is that is this the last one? I feel like this is the last one, so it's okay. Let's do this. Target everybody. Boom. Boom. And I believe you're dead. Oh no no wait, we still have more. Oh that's right, the boss is the boss is uh let's go ahead. The one thing I've noticed about these is that you have to take care of the towers first. Always, always, always take care of the towers first because it seems like they heal and they make it fairly annoying. So let's go ahead and do this, do this, do this. Boom, dead. Let's do this. Look, another tower over here. Let's just take care of it while we're at it. Sorry for those that are, you can skip through this part if you'd like, I, I just wanted to do this favor for the person that asked me while I was actually off and not making videos, I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and make a video and I completely forgot about it, I was like, oh, I can actually do that now, now that I actually have, uh, I'm recording again, so let's go ahead and do this, boom, I know, I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably using the shield wrongly here, but yeah, I know that it is not free to play friendly. I apologize. I did not. <laughs> I did not. Like, that's Nezzy's thing. He loves to do the Nat 4s and all that stuff. I feel like this game is fairly generous. So, if. Uh, if, if, if I don't want to say if you don't got him, you're not doing that. Like, I, I feel like you, it's, it's fairly not easy. It's not as crazy hard attainable as other games, I guess you can say. So. If, if you don't have those heroes, I, I apologize there. The the equivalent of... They have not for equivalents. Don't get me wrong. They just need to be max kill. So, but Rock Jun needs to be in there. I, I feel like he's, he's a key. There's no other unit that does the things that he does. So, Nat 4 for Adonis would be... I believe it's Rock Eve. I believe it is. I'm not sure. I never built her because I had Paper Adonis. So, I didn't really need her. 
Uh, I think it is Rocky, if I have her somewhere. Oh, Scissors Eve, sorry. I was thinking red, so I was like, okay, she's rock. They love to do that. Just like Soho, I don't think he's rock Soho. I think he's something else. I think it's Scissors as well. But yeah, so she has the invincibility shield, which once you once you max it, it's about Adonis's, almost to Adonis's. So it's like five to six seconds with buff duration if you do that, will be good, and plus she heals. So that would be the equivalent, not for equivalent, and then Chrono would be the equivalent of uh, Sisu Carletta. Of course, they're not as good, but they're still there. So let's go ahead and see where, I actually six star him. Don't know why, I six starred so many not fours, I don't even know what for. <laughs> Where are you at? There you go. Here he is, and he does the same thing. Uh, damage taken buff, which by the way, which is really good, especially if you're trying to use him in, in that stage and you don't have the shield up, damage taken buff. Uh, and then skill cooldown, and then on top of that, he has a thing that cooled down their skills and then pauses them. So they won't be able to use their skills for, what is it, four seconds, and it probably goes up because they're paused. And then on top of that, uh, increases its cooldowns for four seconds. So that's basically eight seconds for you, free time for you to get your skills back up and kill them. So that's good, okay? There you go. Oh my gosh, I've gone rambling for so long. <laughs> I've even talked about Arena. Okay, Arena. This dude, you can use him in any team. Literally, any, any team. So I haven't done Arena, unfortunately, but the team that I actually used to use back in the day, and I actually... I, I've been, I used a different, I'm using a, a way different team now, but it was actually this team. This team right here. Because she had, there's enough, there, there's enough heal, enough skill cooldown reduce, enough damage for you to actually do here. So it's sort of, sim, it's similar to the same thing as the team that I used where, uh, that video I did, where I don't, I don't lose. It's just that I felt like I lost more with June, unfortunately. I do not understand why, but I did. So here we go, right here, and then boom, boom. And then we'd use his... I, I know, it's the beginning of the week, so it's not working. It's obviously fairly easy to beat these guys, but... Uh, you'd use June's skill cooldown to hopefully get uh, Scissor Elk skill back up uh, the Eclipse, and then you'd be controlling them non-stop, which is kind of funny. So... Yeah, that's that's really the team. That's I'm sort of explaining it so y'all can actually sort of think about it, think of the way it, it it it'd be used. So right here, same thing. It's the same routine. Boom, 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 and then we'd use this. Cause the thing is, is that if you use Rock June's second skill when there are other skills on cooldown, they will not. It will try to get those. So it's less of a chance for you to have another skill. So if you saw. It was only Paper Helga's and uh, Scissor Elk skill that was on cooldown. So it would be a, practically a 50-50 chance to choose that skill to cool down. So if you're unlucky, you're going to get the other one, but it, it it's it, you have two chances, so it's, it's okay. That's the way that team goes, okay? Let's talk about another team. Okay, the same thing with, and, and I showed it last video, so I'm not going to show it. It's the, the Holy Trinity team. Holy Trinity team, I've already showed it last video. If you didn't see it, go ahead and check out my last video. It actually shows that I wasn't even, like the strippers in this game are not as reliable to strip Adonis' shield because you put one set of that resistant crest and it's over. No matter how much accuracy you have. So it's better to just not bring strippers. But yeah, so his shield was practically always up. He would always, like I said in the last video, he, he would always have his shield up we weren't even doing anything like any other skills besides so Scarletta's skill and <laughs> Rock June's skill and his shield and we were still killing them because no matter what they threw at us, we had our shield. We always had our shield so it didn't matter. So imagine using all your skills. Now that is if you're manualing, autoing is a bit different and we, Nezzy and I actually, if, you, if, you, if you're not familiar if, and if you're new, Nezzy and I actually did a video sort of a real-time arena type of thing a while back and <laughs> like where we would auto instead of actually manually so we would auto against each other and the holy trinity team does not work on auto anymore unfortunately but yeah so sorry for that interruption okay so that's basically it uh for this team i do not want to really explain it as much anymore um 
let's go ahead and talk about I mean, you could literally go full you nuke YOLO and just do this. I feel like, to be honest, like I said, higher up is going to be a bit more difficult. So maybe full nuke will not be not be better. I feel like this is better for like the lower tier, I guess. If you're up there, this is a team that I've been using, which I've been enjoying so much. Uh... If, if I think if if you're audioing, it, it's a bit better. Uh, this team, I don't use June as much anymore in arena. But if you want to use this team, you can. It will be like a bit easier because even if they have, let's say, you, the requirements you need to have are quite high for Elk because if she does not land, oops, if she does not land that. Eclipse, then it's practically done. I could have sworn I had a lot more status activation on her, but she has a lot more skill cooldown. Nah, I guess. Uh, I, I feel like I should get rid of more st skill cooldown and put more status activation because that is not good status activation. I want her to have at least that 30%. But you need to have this skill activated for your team to work because you're trying to control the heck out of your team. So it makes it a bit uh, a bit more reliable when you're just controlling them, controlling them, controlling them over and over and over and over and over and over again. So yeah. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like you can pair him with practically anybody. Just make sure you have a little protection for him. Anything, anything that can do more than one thing is good to pair with them. So like a healer and then it does something else, good with them. Maybe a shield, good with them. Defense buff, be good for him as well. Alright, so let's talk about... All right, let's talk about my last, I forgot to bring this up, my last scenario team, which I've been using a lot lately, which is Benito and the All Rock team, I believe. Actually, I don't even use Benito anymore. That's right. I use Paper Kasha. It's actually pretty good. Let's go ahead. What makes this team excellent? Okay, so yes, I know that. I think y'all even saw it in the video that I did when I was when I took the break. Um, reason why this team is so good is because of the fact. All right, let's go speed up. There we go. It's just because of the fact that there's heal, there's crit rate buff, there's so much damage output. It's insane, and on top of that, June circulates the skills very well. So. It makes it that much crazier. Oh yeah, and on top of that, she does have a shield that is resistant to all debuffs. So any deep unfortunately she landed that really late, but it's okay. We we're doing okay. I think she has her, her shield up again. And if she doesn't, then oh well. I feel like I feel like they get their act together once they get to the boss. Hopefully. So she has her shield back up. Let's see what she does. There we go. So no debuff, because he leaves a crit rate. Uh, debuff there, so it's not going to land. Let's see what happens here. Can we? There we go. Very nice. Dead. Because of that crit rate buff, he was doing so much damage, and on top of that, he actually did do a lot more uh, damage because of his lead skill. So yeah, I feel like I'm going to change Paper Eve to maybe a different one. You know who would be good? Actually, it would be good to have. If you're going for full YOLO, you can have Rock Tyler. You don't. Even, he doesn't even need to. I feel like it might, it might be better if you stuck with, with what's it called? Oops, let's move you. It'd be better if you stick with Eve, just because. Oops, I put the stick with Eve a bit better because of the fact that she does cleanse the debuff, so she does come in clutch at times. So it's probably better to have her. It's a bit more riskier to have Rock. Tyler in there. Rock Tyler does give a crit damage leader skill, I believe, and then on top of that, he or crit rate or crit damage, one of those. But he does do uh, a lot of damage with his strike skill, so it 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 it, it, it balances itself out. So uh, whichever one you want to use, I feel like I'm more of a I'm more of a uh, what is it called? A consistent, there we go. I couldn't think of the word. A consistent team. This team is very YOLO and very consistent. Watch it lose right now. <laughs> so yeah, so like even if, 
and there's so much damage they both the only one that does not do damage is rock arcana and she's still there doing good like she does she does attack with her first skill not that much it's an aoe you know but still uh she gives a crit rate buff the debuff shield and on top of that she heals which is really good i feel like she, she's very underrated in that fact just because she's not shiny or she's not very shiny like like rock june she doesn't do a lot of damage or she doesn't do it like she does a heal which is good 15 second shield which is amazing but yeah so let's end this video on a on, on a quick note even though we took free and 30 minutes to do this <laughs> i'm not going to summon i've already summoned everything i don't need to summon anything here i feel like i'm okay here i'm going to try to do a wyvermish video or not a video i'm going to try to record it by myself and then sort of explain it just like uh nezzy did Sorry to steal that from me, Nezzy. <laughs> I'm still noobish. You're doing all the 100 million damage, so I don't. I probably do like 30 million, hopefully. I found a special trick to teach y'all in that uh, sense, so y'all can actually do it um, and make it a bit more easier for y'all. Um, but, anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave in the comments down below what uh which if, if you have some specific questions for me if you're like well uh, i don't have this can i do it with this what is it? I'll, I'll go ahead and answer y'all as much as possible and like i said i'm going to keep trying to do daily daily, daily videos i know today i didn't have one up but i'm going to try and have this up before the end of the day so keep in mind that i'm, I'm don't worry i'm still working at it i'm still trying to do different videos uh hopefully i can come up with uh, different video ideas and whatnot and i'm glad to see that y'all are glad to see me back it's it's been an amazing feels trip uh feels trip it's been it's been amazing to see all y'all's comments and whatnot so like i said every like every comment every subscription is appreciated and i really do appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart so thank y'all very much for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video all right peace